Hello everyone, today we'll talk about conversation starters. This is Hala, welcome to Speak Real Arabic. Let's say that you are in an event and there are many kinds of people, strangers and friends. Now, if you're gonna start a conversation with your friend, you will say, Marhaba, kifak, tammini annak. Like, hi, how are you? Tammini annak literally reassure me but it doesn't mean reassure me in this case in this case it means tell me about your news but in a very caring way and we as syrian we add many questions after that for example كيف العيلة? كيف الشغل? كيف الدراسة? we also can say شوفي ما في like what's your news so كيفك طمني عنا شو اخبارك شوفي ما في كيف العيلة? كيف الدراسة? يعني ناخد ومنعطي which gives us another expression ناخد ومنعطي it literally means we take and we give but it's not like that in this context it means we have a conversation we have a conversation like I ask, he answer, he ask again and then I answer and I ask again we call it ناخد ومنعطي like give and take but as words so this was for friends or acquaintances now, if you want to break the ice with the strangers, if he looks young and foreigners, you can start with مرحبا, انت من وين? Like, hello, where are you from? Then you can ask هون? How long have you been here? This is if he was a man. If she was a woman, انت من وين? Where are you from? هون? How long have you been here? Actually, with young strangers people, you can say inte as you for male, inti as you for female, but it's better to say hadartak and hadartik, which is like you but very formal and polite way, which means that you can use it with your manager in the workplace. So now, if he's an old man and you want to have a conversation with him, you can start with merhaba, hadartak min wain? Hi, where are you from? What do you work? To sum up, we keep asking questions till we have common things that we can have a conversation about it. This was our video for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and see you soon.